Hello everyone, welcome again. In this video, we will learn how we represent the IPv4 address. We have discussed earlier, there are two types of IP addresses that is widely used. One is IPv4 and another is IPv6. IPv4 is a 32-bit number and IPv6 address is a 128-bit number. So, what do I mean by bit? The lowest amount of the, uh, unit that our com computer understands in terms of memory is a bit. A bit can store either a zero or a one. So there, there is only uh, there are only two numbers possible with one bit. It's either zero or one. So how many combinations of zeros and one will be possible with a 32 bit long? It's nothing but two to the power 30. So that is the total number of IP addresses possible of IP. And in case of IPv6, it's two to the power 120. 2 to the power 32 is not a that much large number which which will sufficient for all the world population uh, uh, especially in those cases where each of us are having different devices and all of us all of us are using some public ips but uh, ipv6 number that is 2 to the power 128 that is a huge number and that will be sufficient for eternity you can say now let's understand how do we represent this 32 bit uh, no. so if i need to write the 32 bit ip address ip4 address in a binary form it will be a combination of zeros and ones and there will be total 32 numbers and each number will be either a zero or one primarily what we do we represent ip addresses as ipv4 addresses in in, in a dotted decimal form don't write binary format because if you if you try to write the IP address in a binary format you need to write 32 numbers 32 zeros and ones and only then you will be able to represent the whole IPv4 address using binary instead binary we use uh, dotted decimal format so that it's easier to remember and it's also easier to uh, write down and configure using the dotted decimal format suppose i'm for example i'm using 10.20.15.18 here as as one example ip so how should i convert this uh, ip address to a binary form right now it's in dotted decimal format i need to convert this ip address to a binary format and we'll uh, also see how to do the reverse as well how to convert from binary to decimal it's really easy you just need to remember the powers of two up to 2 to the power 7 what is what is the value of 2 to the power 0 it's 1 what is the value of 2 to the power 7 it's 128 you need to write from 2 to the power 0 you, you need to keep the 2 to the power 0 at the rightmost place and from there you need to keep on writing uh, the, uh, till 2 to the power 7 from right to left just like this in the in the rightmost part i have written 2 to the power 0 and in the leftmost part i have written 2 to the power 7 and I have also written the actual numbers here. So 2 to the power 7 means 120, 2 to the power 6 means 64, and so on. Suppose I need to convert this number 10 to its binary format. How will I do that? I will find the combination of those numbers whose addition is equal to 10. So in case of this, I see that the addition of 8 and 2 represents 10. So what I will do, I will put 1 in place of 8 and 1 in place of 2 and I will put 0 in rest all the places. This is the binary format of 10. What is the binary format of 20? What I will do, I will find out those numbers whose addition is equal to 20. So let's find out. So, from, uh, so let's find out uh, 20's uh, binary equivalent so look at the third place here here by looking at this chart we can we can tell that the addition of 4 and 16 is equal to 20 so what we will do we will put 1 plus of 16 and 1 plus of 4 and rest of the all the places will put zeros so if you write it down it will become this 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0. So this is the binary format of 20. And uh, suppose you, you are given one uh, 
binary number and you are told to convert it to decimal form how you will do it so just write down the binary number and also write down the powers of 2 from right to left and <coughs> only add those powers of 2s under which there is a 1 if you add those powers of 2s under which there is a 1 you will get the decimal number. this is that much easy so in this video we have learned how we represent the ip v4 address and how we, we convert binary from binary format to decimal format decimal format to binary format in our next video we'll learn about uh, subnetting in details so i hope you have liked this video and you have found this video useful please do like share and subscribe